Atreus has grown so much since our journey to Jotunheim. We have trained through winter upon winter, with no summons between. He is stronger, more capable, more adept in battle, and an excellent climber. But he still has much to learn if he is to master his emotions with discipline. He remains distracted by the thoughts of Loki and the destiny foretold by the giants. Whatever his mother's people intended for him, whatever she intended for him, I will keep him safe and prepare him while I can. Taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Of the myths and legends Mimir has unfolded to us, none have so inspired Atreus as the life of Tyr. Once the god of war in these lands, he dedicated himself to peace. A hero not only to mortals of Midgard, but to those of the far-off lands of other pantheons, to which he traveled in the name of diplomacy. Even the Jotnar revere him. It is believed his aid is what made the giants disappear, escaping Odin's wrath, at least for a time. I am not certain he will prove as useful to us as Atreus hoped, either as a leader or as a source of information. Though perhaps, with patience, he will recover himself. Most importantly, he seeks neither war nor revenge for the suffering visited upon him. In this I am grateful. Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. Oh. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. <laughs> 